if you walk the streets of Bangladesh, you will realize that it is home to about 380,000 children, mostly between the ages of 5 and 14. Poverty has been one of humanity's greatest challenges. Its inherent burden is usually physical, but the spiritual and emotional toll can be even more debilitating. For these children, the street is their home and their only source of survival. While the pavement is their bed and the sky is their cover, leaving them unprotected, at the mercy of fate, even when they sleep on street corners. These thousands are orphans, or have fled from violent families, or have abandoned their parents due to the dire economic situation. These children also endure risks. They are often mistreated. These children are usually treated with great neglect, as no one smiles, hugs, protects or comforts them. I was deeply impressed by my visit to the orphan village. It was a great pleasure to meet the CAP Foundation staff and would like to thank them for a wonderful hospitality. In this place, children will be able to build a bright future. Assalamu alaikum. We are here at Orphan Village in Bangladesh and uh, it is a place where 100 orphans will be able to pray, learn, play, eat, drink, sleep and stay here inshallah. As you can see, this mosque is designed similarly to Masjid Al-Aqsa so that the children who live here can learn and memorize the Qur'an. In this mosque, I had the privilege of calling the Adhan for the first time. <laughs> أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله. Let us go to the to the school and the classrooms. We have uh, our primary school where we have uh, five different classrooms for five subjects. Mashallah. We also have a uh, quiet room and a library. SubhanAllah. One child, one teacher, one book and one pen can change the world. And this is what we're trying to achieve with everyone together. Mashallah. To educate a child, to educate a children is educating the entire nation. It's very hot here in Bangladesh. Inshallah, by our sacrifice, we'll have the coolness in Jannah. Yeah, inshallah. This is the indoor sport complex, and this is to maintain fitness and health while also allowing mm, the children to enjoy their favorite sports. We will also have our youth club here to keep the children engaged with positive activities mm, and develop their social engagement and preparing them with the life skills. Now we'll be visiting uh, dormitories. I think we'll, we'll have two, two dormitories, right? No, we have three dormitories to facilitate 100 children. 
Mashallah. and to give them a high standard living spaces. The dormitories have enough space for the children to live comfortably. Where we are going now? We're going to the empty space also belongs to the open village in yes. and over here we will inshallah build our technical college which will facilitate for all our um, children to learn to become mobile engineers, electrician, IT engineers, so on. So this is the entire project of uh, Orphan Village, right? We start from here. That's right. We started from our masjid. Yeah. Then we saw our indoor, indoor sport complex. Yes. Yeah. We then went, visited uh, the uh, school classrooms. Classrooms. And this is our entrance to the Orphan Village yeah. with our management uh, offices. And these these are where all the dormitories are. Yeah. And uh, in the middle we have the playground, outdoor playground. Outdoor. These are the canteens. And uh, these are the residency of the care workers, the carers, yeah. and all the uh, chefs to produce and to provide the meals, and all the security individuals. Inshallah, very nice. This is the project that I think needs to be realized not just once, but often in Bangladesh. It takes sacrifice, hard work, and dedication to ensure a bright future for children. Every single dua from these children will be greatly needed by each of us to secure the hereafter.